Tension has again gripped communities in Benue State following a massive influx of over 4,000 cows and Fulani Esme in four local government areas of the state. This is just as a suspected Fulani pastoralist last Sunday reportedly gang raped a mother of five children to come out in Ejuli, Uwukwa, Ogbadidu, local government area of the state. The local government areas invaded by the Fulani Esme include Guma, Kwande, Agatu, Ado, and Logu. Residents in those areas told New Telegraph in confidence that the presence head of Katu is frightening, stressing that some people have already started fleeing their homes. With the movement of large heads of Katu in our community, we are afraid because it, put, it portends danger. We recall the incident of the past years, especially how hundreds of people were murdered and many others taking refuge in camps are yet to return home up to now, a villager said. The community leader in Logo local government, Chief Joseph Anawa, said he heard men, Esme, who came in thousands with large number of cattle, took over parts of the local government. A development he said has thrown most people in trepidation. Commenting on the development, Chief Press Secretary to Governor Samuel Otom Teva Akase alleged that the sudden influx of armed Esme in parts of the state is politically motivated. Honestly, I don't know what is happening in Benue State. I don't know why these people do not really want Benue people to to rest. Even as they talk about it, they say they've already enacted the law that there shouldn't be any open grazing. And these people do not really want to abide, you know, by the law. They don't want to abide with the law. You can imagine if they allow these people again in Lagos, if they allow them in Lagos or you know in um or your state because uh, your is about to enact the law, and that is why they are they are they are they are disturbed that they want to be part of a, a motekun for them to be employed or to in, incorporate them or to include them in the uh in the corps of a motekun because it is a they are just trying to, they are trying these people they are trying these uh, Benue people. Because of the law, they want to say no. Because you want to, you want to, you think you can use law to hold us that will, you think we can't do anything. That is just the meaning of this thing. Then what is the government doing? Because these people cannot be bigger than the government. They cannot be bigger than the government. And you can imagine what the press secretary is saying that it is mo politically motivated. How can all of it? So the four thousand. That means they just, they just mean business. They don't need to really take this thing uh, uh, lightly. The governor should be on top of this game should be on top of the game because this is really scary i'm not there but at least with the way you know i could really envisage how they could really bring such numbers of cows you can imagine even if you have 50 cows on the streets let alone 100 you don't talk of 200 you not talk of 1000 1 5 2000 3000 3 5 4 thousand, four thousand. do you know what it means to have 4000 cows in how many local governments and there was an incident that happened, you know, before this, uh, this one, uh, you know, before we are hearing this one again. You see what they did to that woman, a married woman. And they took her life in the process of, you know, these uh, atrocities they've been committing. That is why other states need to open their eyes very clearly. No wonder this man has been boasting. The head of Miatiala that they are all over the place in Nigeria. That whether those who are calling for breakup, whether they call for breakup or they don't call for breakup, that meaning that they've already strategized themselves. They've already already positioned themselves. That is what that statement means. And this particular person is still saying, ah, I hope uh, the Southwest people will not go and fall for them, saying that uh, uh, they they will want to look into the matter so that they will incorporate them into the Amotekun uh, uh, group. It will be it will be so disastrous. But thank God a lot of people uh, I thank God for this uh, Afeni Ferry because if not for Afeni Ferry and this man that has been talking because he's a low ranger, is you know, is a one man squad, Fanika Yode and Afeni Ferry, Afeni Ferry group, they are somewhere, and uh, Fanika Yode, they are also somewhere. Most especially the Afeni Ferry. If not, because I don't know what the rest of people are doing. I don't just know. I hope the Southwest. Uh, governors will not go and fall for the antics of these people because I know the 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 Southwest people, the masses, the real people are the masses. 
they wouldn't want this kind of a thing to happen that you want to incorporate them that means you know Fanica already has already described them he has already described them just the way they are how can you say you want to put them inside you know to join them with Amoteko see what is happening in Benue state it is so scary see what is happening in, in Benue state you know I could really imagine how people will be flying from their home you know fleeing from their homes I could really imagine I'm safe, as if I, 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 I'm in that town as I'm even speaking now you can imagine so I have, I'm sure the the government is not a, a handicapped because the way the press secretary the man is talking now uh, I could I could I could feel or sense a uh, fear or somebody who is just perplexed from his statements Tava Akase alleged that the sudden influx of armed Esme in parts of the state is politically motivated what do they want to do and no, uh, that's why this man called on uh, the president Okoa called on the president to, to say something, the federal government, to say something, let them speak up. It's, let them challenge them. Some people are like, oh, why is he talking like that? Does it, does it mean he has not been in this country or whatever? Yes, that's why the man is challenging him. You need to speak up because you cannot tell us that you don't know what is happening. You cannot, you know, you cannot uh, uh, pretend as if you don't know what is happening or it is nothing. People have been complaining for close to three years, four, five years, since you came on board, people have been complaining and you never made a categorical statement concerning these people. Then that shows that you are part of these people. Because if it is any of your relations that or relatives that are affected with with all of this, is I'm, I'm sure you are not going to be saying anything. You are not going to be keeping quiet. What is happening? The president of our said that if nothing is being done, a lot of things will still happen. A lot of things will still happen. That's why we're just trying to, you know, know the kind of language we speak on this platform the woman said if nothing is being done with what is happening now definitely huh, of which we are seeing it seeing all of this is day by day day in day out those who have not been affected those who have not been who have not really experienced this thing and that's why i i, I was not just happy initially when this issue of uh, 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 these people to this uh, esme they went to data state i was just like how can the 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 state just be relaxed until this kind of a thing happened in those communities in Delta State, because pockets of this kind of eating has been happening in Delta State, and for the fact that it has not really come so heavily, just the way the experience they had some weeks back, it has been happening mostly in all the southeast, Edo states, and other other states. They would have prepared, you know, uh, 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 put some measures in place. Not that you allow things to happen before you start running a task and be trying to 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 form committee or set up committee. So those who are, are, you know, who have not really been hit so hardly with by this SMA atrocity should be prepared. Don't wait until it happens. Those governors, what are you guys waiting for? What are you guys waiting for? Don't let it hit your people because you think that it's not going to affect you. Of course, it's not going to affect you because you guys are secured. What of ordinary uh, 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 person on the streets? Out of all those uh, uh, poor communities? If it it, it 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 will just be a free fall, and at the end of the day, you guys now going to be visiting, visiting what I I learned that the other day, Omar Gege, the deputy senate president and the governor, they went to go and be visiting. That is not what we are we are supposed to be doing. That things will not happen before we start visiting. No, we don't want that kind of visit. You ought to have put a lot of things in in in, in proper perspective, so that this kind of a thing will not happen. See what is happening in Benue State now, even as they have enacted the law, these people are daring them. These people are daring them that there is nothing you are going to do. That with or without your law, we we'll still do what we want to do. You can imagine all of a sudden. Like I said, from the from the from the voice of the uh this uh, what is the the secretary, the chief press secretary to the governor, from his, his the way he spoke, from his statement, I could I could sense you know someone being perplexed. They need to do something. This is the time they need to be on top of the game. Honestly. They need to be on top of the game. It's so serious. Honestly, it's, this is this is too much. It's too much. Oh my goodness. Someone is saying here that nothing than to withstand and defend yourself. Nigeria is not safe under any security. Let us defend ourselves, even if they have the backups from everywhere. By God's grace, we shall overcome this murderers called Fulani Esme. For me, I have my personal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, someone said uh, defense is the solution. It is by law to defend yourself anywhere, anytime. This is the agenda of your number one citizen 
or how do you explain a situation in which none of these murderers have ever been prosecuted despite the fact that these headers never retreat to Sambisa forest after their crime against humanity and God are maiming, raping and looting uh, uh, people. Hmm. So guys, uh, let us hear your opinion concerning this uh, new development happening in Benue State for the fact that law has been passed that there shouldn't be any open grazing and see what these guys are doing now. Leave your comments below and let's have your